I watch uh, Nathan Oakley. You should follow him on uh, YouTube. Nathan Oakley 1980 is his YouTube Nathan channel. Oakley. I love that guy. He's awesome. He crushes. You need the edge to be physical and geometric to get that R value. If the horizon is refracted 14th time, it's not geometric. Like I said, he didn't measure uh, the geometric horizon. Oh, really? So the story of him measuring the geometric horizon to give him an R value is a complete lie then? He didn't measure it. No, he's absolutely claimed to have measured it, Kosho. He's claimed to have measured the geometric horizon and derived R from it. That's a geometric value. And you've just made it clear that he didn't measure that. So the whole story of Al Baruni is a complete lie. We are not going to see the geometric horizon. No one's claiming that we see physical geometry. It's not a visual horizon. Well, yes, we presuppose what the Earth is. I want Coach o to talk about what he talked about last night. The Chinese, they just um, sent a rocket the other night, uh, supposedly to Mars. They're going to be sending a, they're going to be setting up their own rovers there. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's a good bedtime story. So, Coach o, will you go over that today on Nathan's show? I'm, not, I'm just asking you guys about it, just seeing if, you, if you've seen that or if you have any ideas. The implications. No, no, no. I asked, I asked what? you something different. I asked if you could go over what you were talking about last night with Al Baruni. Did I go over it about the moon? No. What you were talking about on 24 7 Arena, how Al Baruni got the radius. Oh, Al Baruni. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I would like you to discuss that today. That's not right. Well, we talked about it. I said, you remember um, what we discussed? I'm not sure if you... I couldn't. Uh, it wasn't coming in clear. That's why I want you to talk about it today. Say that again, Nathan. Can't see the geometric horizon. How could he possibly be measuring it? Only exists in maths. That's what I want the poster to go over. That's kind of what we discussed last night, is the difference between viewing the horizon, or the refracted horizon due to the distance like viewing the distance and how it's refraction uh, will vary the distance and viewing the, the dip angle and how refraction will shift that dip angle. And it doesn't, uh, even though the distance varies by a lot, the dip angle doesn't vary by very much. Sorry, dip angle to a refracted horizon. He's supposed to be measuring a geometric horizon though. Nice bait and switch talking about this refracted horizon. That's not what he's supposed to be measuring though, is it? Well, that's what I'm saying is you can measure the refracted horizon because it's yeah, a little different. I heard. I didn't, didn't need it repeating. That's not what he's supposed to be measuring, though, is it? So don't tell me again for a second time how you can measure a refracted horizon because he's supposed to be measuring the geometric horizon, and you can't see that. So Al Baruni definitely didn't measure it, and you've just confirmed that by talking all about refracted horizons, which are not geometric by definition. If the horizon is refracted, it is not geometric. Why do you assume that you have to measure the geometric horizon? Because that's what he's supposed to be measuring. He's supposed to be measuring the geometry to derive R. That would be a geometric horizon. That's what he's doing. Why are you asking me about what I need to do? That's what Al Baruni is said to have done. He definitely didn't do it, Kosho, as you're conceding repeatedly. You're going to be measuring something that's refracted. That's not geometric. You can't derive geometry from that. Right, so what I just so right, so he wasn't was measuring how, geometric horizon. Was that angle. right? Was that a concession? Right, he wasn't measuring geometry then. So where the fuck did he get this R value from if he wasn't measuring geometry, Kosho? He wasn't measuring it. Right, that's right. He wasn't. So it's bullshit. It to you, man. So it's bullshit. You can't measure geometric horizons. They only exist in this maths of yours. You can't see it. You wouldn't expect to see it. Yet Al Baruni's claimed to be measuring it, and according to you, you're going to explain how he's measuring something refracted. Well, you're not going to get an R value from that, mate. You need to measure something geometric for that. That's what he's said to have done. 
And he didn't, did he, Kosho? To an estimate, didn't he? You know, awfully repetitive. Um, oh, said, said the he... man who's about to repeat that you can measure refracted horizons for the second time. I just stopped you from repeating it, and you're going to accuse me of being repetitive. He didn't measure geometry, did he, Kosho? Not repeating anything. I'm tired of saying something for the first time. You just need to say, the, as you did it, when you said, yeah, he's not capable of measuring this geometric R value because he can't see a geometric horizon. Can he, Kosho? Now tell me about how he's measuring something refracted. Say yes. That's right. It's a bullshit story because he can't see it. To you, man. you just need to say yes. Yes. The dip angle doesn't vary. No, no, no by not dip angle. Refraction. He can't measure a geometric refraction. horizon with a dip angle if he can't see it. Why are you talking about a dip angle? He can't see the geometry of a he geometric horizon measuring. to measure a dip angle too. Why are you reiterating this nonsense about a refracted dip angle measurement? He needs geometry, you fool. Be I'm trying to describe it to you. That That's the reason why you can use the refracted one. No, any, refracted uh, is not geometric, you clown. Are you thick? If the horizon is refracted, do you not listen to what I just said? I'm repeating myself because you're stupid and you don't listen. So I'm going to repeat it, and you're going to repeat it back. You, even you are going to listen, time, not talk through me, Kosho. You didn't listen now like a belligerent child that's having to have stuff repeated to him because he didn't listen. I'm going to repeat it, and you're going to damn well listen. If the horizon is refracted, it is not geometric, and he is deriving a geometric value from the physical geometric claim to be horizon he is said to have measured. Now, don't justify how it's not what he's claimed to have measured. If the horizon's refracted, third repetition, you're going to repeat it back to me. It ipso facto is not geometric. Do you either not understand that or are you just ignoring it? Repeat it, please. If refracted, not geometric. I'm ignoring it. I'm trying to respond to you. Repeat it. You just won't, you won't allow me Repeat to. what I have said well, I three times. You, said. You, you will I'm repeat it. To respond to what you just said. You will repeat it because I'm demanding it. You'll he do as it. I say, does, or yes. you'll get out. Repeat it. If refracted, horizon, not geometric, horizon. Fact. Nathan, the reason not why Nathan, but repeat after me. I've said it four times, you coward. Why aren't you repeating it? Do, do you say it's not true? Is it not true? Is it incorrect? Is my statement wrong? Say wrong. You are incorrect. Yes, so I'm oh, so a refracted horizon, a refracted horizon me. is geometric. Sorry, no, that's I'm wrong, Kosho. Why are you now rumpusing me? You're wrong. Kosho, it won't work. A geometric horizon is not a refracted horizon. That's incorrect. You are stupid. Kosho, it don't try and reason. It won't Why work. is this guy talking? Sorry, I'm going to say it a sixth time, and you are going to repeat it, Kosho. You brain-dead globe-head moron. If the horizon is refracted, it is not geometric. You don't seem to be repeating me, Kosho, or talking through me this time. Seven times I've said it. You haven't repeated it. You said it's wrong. It isn't. It's a fact. If I try to respond to you, you just end up shouting. Until you repeat the fact that a geometric horizon ipso facto is not refracted. It's geometric. By definition, it's not the same thing. They are not the same. You are incorrect. And I'm going to say for an eighth time, with you repeating it back as the next thing you say, if it's refracted, that would be the horizon, it is not geometric. That is a fact, Kosho. So the reason why this measurement... I don't want to hear about the measurement. The measurement to what? The refracted horizon that isn't geometric that you haven't conceded? Nine times! You're going to be measuring something refracted, and it needs to be measured geometrically to give you the R value. Ipso facto, 10 times. If the horizon's refracted, it's not geometric. Why are you talking through me? Why are you talking through me? Tenth repetition needs talking through, does it? So you can obfuscate it on the tenth repetition. Yeah, I'm being very repetitive because you seem to go silent and then move on, Kosho. Your little weasel worm being having your ass handed to you by a flat earther currently is weaseling and worming away from this 11th repetition. The ipso facto, if the horizon's refracted, it's not geometric. And Al Biruni is claimed to be measuring the geometric horizon that you can't see, doesn't exist, only exists in your geometric mathematics. So he can't possibly be measuring it. It's not the same as the refracted horizon, as you've incorrectly asserted. And I need you because I've said it 12 times with just stunned silences and interruptions, to confirm you understand that it's not geometric if it's refracted. That's the horizon that Al Biruni was claimed to measure. 
geometric for Al Biruni, only existing in the maths for us right here, right now. I've already responded to you and told you why it's valid. Well, then get the fuck out. If you've already responded, you don't need to be here, do you? So you understand then that it isn't the same thing. You're about to tell us about measuring something refracted, and that's not geometric then. You understand that. You've already responded. You understand that. We're supposed to be being told how Al Biruni's measuring a physical geometric sphere edge horizon to give him an R value, and all we've had is you waffle on about measuring something that's not that refracted horizon, according to you. It's not the same thing. 12 times I've said it. You'll see when you get the angle to the dip of the horizon. Whether what what horizon horizon would that be? Which horizon? Be specific. There's two horizons in contention currently. Geometric, the one Al Biruni is supposed to be measuring to give him a geometric R value, and the one you keep talking about, which is refracted. So are you talking about the physical sphere edge geometric horizon or your refracted horizon, which is not that? Which one are you talking about? Be specific. Whichever one you can see. Uh, you uh, can't you see a geometric see horizon. horizon. We wouldn't expect to see a geometric horizon. The geometric horizon cannot be seen. The geometric horizon only exists in maths. These are all quotes from your side of the table, Kosho. We are not going to see the geometric horizon. No one's claiming that we see physical geometry. It's not a visual horizon. Mr. Oakley will say is that we presuppose what the Earth is. Well, yes. Do you understand? It cannot be seen. So if you're going to be measuring the one that can be seen, that's not the geometric horizon that gives you an R value, Kosho. Do you understand? You're the only one dictating it's got to be a geometric horizon. Oh, sorry, it's geometry. It's not me dictating what geometry is, you unbelievable spastic. You think this is my terms? No, it's just geometry, you complete retard. Come on, Kosho. You thick shit. You don't know what geometry is. You think it's my assertion in mathematics, what geometry is and what it needs and what it requires. No. To derive an R value, you need a geometric physical sphere edge to be a horizon. It needs to be physical and capable of giving you that physical R value for a physical sphere that only exists in maths, cannot be seen, we would not expect to see. So, no, Kosho, the one we see isn't going to be the one Al Biruni has claimed to have measured. That was our point. You just danced around it 13 times. If the horizon's refracted, it's not geometric. Cap got your tongue? Uh, yeah, so what's these stubborn. values you're talking about? How do you get these values? Can you hear me, Kosho? If the horizon's refracted, yeah. it's not geometric. It's 14 times I've repeated that. I mean, there's no point in you doing that. I could just explain to you what I was going to explain to, for the first time. What, the, the refracted horizon is geometric? That's incorrect. A geometric value isn't something that has had an atmospheric condition applied. It's merely a mathematical equation for a sphere value from the edge to the center. That's radius. And you need the edge to be physical and geometric to get that R value. If the horizon is refracted, 14th time, it's not geometric. Right, like I said, he didn't measure uh, the geometric horizon. He measured. Oh, really? So the story of him measuring the geometric horizon to give him an R value is a complete lie then? He didn't measure it. No, he's absolutely claimed to have measured it, Kosho. He's claimed to have measured the geometric horizon and derived R from it. That's a geometric value. And you've just made it clear that he didn't measure that. So the whole story of Al Biruni is a complete lie. Yeah, we know. No. He didn't measure the geometric horizon. We know, Kosho. We're just toying with your dumb ass. Measure the geometric horizon. Yeah, we know he didn't measure the geometric horizon. We're just toying with you, you retard. We know. But it need to, to derive R, for you to now tell us that the refracted horizons within 5% of that value of R that can't be measured by Baruni, you fucking retard. Yeah, that's actually the point. It what, that he can't measure the geometric value of R, and you're going to base the refracted horizon on that geometric value of R that can't be measured? That's the point. No, it's the end of the globe assertion, you moron. You can't measure R. You don't have an R. Al Biruni didn't measure R. Al Biruni couldn't see geometry. You've just told us that. You've conceded. You've lost. He's supposed to have measured the R value. That would be a geometric, physical, sphere, edge, horizon. And he didn't. You've just conceded. You've lost, Kosho. So he didn't measure geometry then. Where'd you get your R value from then? 
if he didn't measure it to give you a value within 5% of it, you're not going to tell me how you've got a geometric horizon that's matching with a refracted horizon because it's within 5% of a value that can't be measured. And Al Baruni definitely didn't measure it. Now, did he, Kosho? You sound like you had a lot of coffee today, man. Kosho, Sorry, are you missing this? this did you just ad hom me? Did you just ad hom and attack me? 15 repetitions of the argument and all Kosho's got to come back at me with is how high my caffeine level is. My balls are currently gagging on your face, you stupid moron. You are getting teabagged by a flat earther who is pointing out that one of the fundamental principles of your religion, that would be that Al Biruni measured a physical geometric sphere edge to give him R, you've just conceded he could not do. You realise this is getting trimmed out, you fuckwit. Kosho admits... Al Biruni story nonsense. He couldn't see the geometric horizon. So how the fuck did he measure R? Answer, he didn't. No, he did. Oh, no, he didn't. He couldn't see a geometric horizon to measure to give him R. You've just conceded that, you stupid twat. Can't you keep up with current events? Do you know what this equation is that you have to... Sorry, what about what, the equation of a value that can't be seen to be measured... So you're going to give me an equation now, move to the abstract maths. He can't see it to measure it. How are you going to give me maths for it? He can't see equation, it to measure it. These two angles don't make a big... Angles to what? With about the same Angles value. to what? To the horizon. Oh, the geometric yeah, the horizon, the one he can't see and he can't measure. You double-speaking fundy fuckwit that's getting teabagged. Yet you just say the horizon, I've told you twice. Are you deaf? thick or just obfuscating i've made it clear for you you stupid retard that when you say horizon you need to be specific this is the third time i've said it to you are you just dense can't you follow instructions yeah I'm we're talking shut up shut up, shut up retard i'm telling you something retard now you're going to sit and listen i've told you three times when you say horizon don't just say horizon because when you say horizon, you are convoluting a geometric horizon that al Bruni's claim to have measured and you have conceded he cannot with a refracted horizon. So you, fuckwit globe head liar, is going to be damn well specific when you say horizon because you've got two in play. One that's geometric and required by your globe earth model and one that's refracted and is not that geometric horizon that is claimed to be measured by Al Baruni and you've conceded he could not measure. So don't just say horizon and think you're going to weasel away around this fact that you can't measure the R value to give you a value to base your equations on that you're now asking me about to weasel away from the 16th repetition that a geometric horizon's not a refracted horizon. 16 times, Kosho, you pathetic weasel. So no, Nathan, 10, he so said he so understood. $10 that nobody here can find a citation that says that he measured the geometric horizon. Oh, he's got R from it. He's derived R from it. And you think he's not measuring geometry, you unbelievable spastic. You don't know your own religion. You're coming here to flat earthers to educate you in what Al Biruni's claimed to have done. He's claimed to have derived R from it, you stupid spastic. That's geometry, you stupid spastic. He's claimed to be measuring a sphere edge horizon, you stupid spastic. Don't you know your own fundy faith, you complete retard? The most important part. I'm talking to him, Coach. Uh, hello, I'm talking to him. Hello. Don't you know your own fundy faith, Kosho, you complete retard? Why am I, the flat earther, having to educate the person on the globe side about what Al Biruni is doing? He is absolutely unequivocally being claimed to measure a physical geometric sphere edge horizon to give him the R value. That's geometry. And you need a citation for that, you complete fucking bonehead. You don't know your own religion, Klaus. I don't need a citation for it. Uh, well, why did you just ask for one then, you fucking brain-dead retard? To weasel away from the 17th repetition that you're talking about measuring a refracted horizon when Al Biruni's claimed to have measured the geometric horizon to give him R 17 times. He measured the apparent horizon. Oh, well, apparent is still geometric because it's varied with height. So was he measuring the physical geometric apparent based on its height horizon? It was physical geometric, the one he measured, Yeah. He measured the apparent horizon. Yeah, I've just... You didn't listen. you brain-dead retard. I'm going to repeat it for a second time. Listen, do not talk. All horizons are apparent. A geometric horizon is apparent because it's varied with height. It's still physical. It's still a sphere edge. And it must be physical, geometric, and a sphere edge to give you R. So again, you're not being specific about this horizon, are you? You're just saying apparent. 
well, that's not the words that we've been detailing these two very different horizons with, refracted and geometric. All horizons are apparent, meaning you can see them. Now, your geometric horizon is not apparent because you cannot see it. It only exists in maths. So, Al Biruni's still in a position where he's not measuring a physical geometric sphere edge then, Kosho. Despite you introducing this word apparent, which is redundant. All horizons are apparent. Exactly, meaning, it is redundant. That's so don't say it then! to weasel away from this 18th repetition that a refracted horizon's not geometric, and that's what Al Biruni's claimed to have measured, and you've already conceded he did not do that. So he did not derive R. Uh, oh, and you're going to talk through me. My 18th repetition right. is where you think okay. you need to pipe up, is it? No, you haven't conceded. You just used this weasel word apparent that you've now conceded is redundant. Why did you use it then to get away from the fact that a, hor a horizon that's refracted isn't the geometric horizon that you can derive an R value from, Kosho, now is it? Cat got your tongue? Don't want to interrupt this time? Maybe a 19th repetition. Your refracted horizon that you're measuring is not going to give you an R value because it needs to be geometric and a physical sphere edge. Apparent because it's apparent based on height. All horizons are apparent because it means you can see them. However, your geometric horizon is not apparent, meaning you can't see it, meaning it's not a horizon. And Al Biruni definitely wasn't measuring a non-horizon that can't be seen, but he's claimed to have measured it to get an R value from it, Kosho. Therein lies the end of your assertion that we can assume R because Al Biruni measured a geometric sphere edge that is simultaneously claimed to block boats and buildings. It isn't. It doesn't. It's just nonsense. The Earth's not a sphere. Al Biruni didn't measure R. You cannot see a physical sphere edge for a horizon. It's not blocking boats and buildings because it only exists in maths. Your globe's dead. I watch uh, Nathan Oakley. You should follow him on uh, YouTube. Nathan Oakley 1980 is his YouTube channel. I love that guy. He's awesome. He crushed it.